So here we are at the entrance to the Temple of Trials. And uh, as the old lady said, uh, we have to get through this temple in order to prove that uh, I am the chosen one. Now that I said I'm not playing a real combat character, so I'm going to turn Sneak on. This is your Skilladex here. And these are all of the different world manipulation skills that you can use. Uh, first Aid and Doctor will be very important as uh, time goes by. Uh, science lets you mess around with computers. Repair lets you fix things. Um, sneak, which is what I just turned on, uh, you can actually use your number keys, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, to hotkey these. Uh, lock, pick, and steal, and traps are also going to be uh, important as time goes by. But I've turned on sneak in the hopes that I can get by these uh, little insectoid uh, door guards that we've got here. Now you scroll around the map just by uh, edging over, or mousing over the edge rather. Try to sneak past these ants. Oh, it's not going to work. They've spotted me. So it's time for combat, and as you can see, we've uh, gone into combat mode here. So this ant is unhurt. Well, let's see if I can change that. Oh. I've been un unable to kick this ant. There we go. Let's see. Oh, I just beat the pants off of him that time. You can see he flips over and a little bit of blood pools underneath him. Oh, I missed this one. So it's all turn-based combat. And I was talking about these are my action points down here. And when they run out, the turn is over. Or you can hit spacebar to end your turn prematurely. Not prematurely this time, however, since uh, I have defeated my enemies. And you can see down here it even says that I've, uh, let's see, for destroying my enemies without taking a scratch, I get 50 experience points. Woohoo! So feeling pretty good about myself. I'm going to keep sneaking, explore a little more. Temple. Oh, this one spotted me too. Let's see if I can take him out as handily as the other ones. Oh, good. I didn't think I had really taken high enough strength to be able to one punch these critters like this. healing powder in there is actually worth it. <clears throat> Not if I'm going to have to fight my way through all of these ants. Because that one's going to spot me for sure. See, even movement takes my AP when I'm in combat mode. action points to check inside this pot. Amazingly, this ant has not spotted me yet. Oh, there, I've gone and done it. See, if you click twice in the same destination square, you'll start running. And when you run, of course, you break sneak mode. But nobody seems to have noticed me. I'm 
Now, having played this game before, I know that this room doesn't contain anything useful for me. It does, however, contain two rad scorpions. Uh, I don't want to get poisoned, so I'm just going to avoid those rad scorpions and that room entirely. Let's see. Alright, I've outrun the ants. Here, there are more scorpions, but there's also another spear. And although I personally am not so good at the melee combat, uh, spears can be valuable to others. Turn around. Crud. And your best strategy with red scorpions is to take one shot at them and then run away. giving me a chance to flee, I am going to flee. I think I just have to get out of line of sight. If I can make it around this corner without that one up there seeing me. still coming after me. I may very well have wasted too much time. saw somebody wandering around in here. Don't even worry about it. Just head back to your business. There's nothing over here that needs your attention. Now 
this is a room <clears throat> that puts your perception to the test. Ow! See, I didn't notice that uh, plate as I was walking up. Now, having tripped it, can I disarm it? No. See, there are pressure plates on this floor. And if I see them ahead of time, I won't step on them, for starters, and I can disarm them for experience, in theory. In this early in the game, none of my skills are, are anything really to write home about. There we go, 25 XP for that. And this is a good room for it, too, because you can actually uh, get quite a bit of experience just by diffusing all of these. But, seeing as how we're in a bit of a hurry to, you know, save the village and, uh, I don't think there's a princess to rescue, but do have to carry on. Oh, I'm going to step on that one. Ow! Well, it missed me anyways. get laggy again. You know, when I did a test run with this character, my sneak was a lot more valuable. Like, seriously, I, ha I barely had to touch any of these guys. I just ran around the corners, swiped everything that wasn't nailed down, and didn't even have to worry about it. This time, everybody and their friggin' cat is on my ass. And I don't know if I'm even gonna make it to the end. Never mind within my time limit. Oh, yeah. Screw you, buddy. Okay, that other one hasn't seen me yet. See, this isn't one I can skip. It's got that, uh, Uh, plastic explosives, chunk of cordex, uh, it's excellent. It's going to be very useful in a second. Because, ah, you little son of a bitch. Oh yeah? I'm fucking done with these hands. just go through the rest here and kick the crap out of the rest of them. Well, I should have just enough time to get this done. Okay, so I'm going to use this plastic explosive. I'm going to set the timer. I am going to drop this plastic explosive. And I am going to run my ass off. Hey, hey, run, you stupid asshole.
and that should just about do it.